Originally from Pittsburgh, PA, Mark Cuban earned a BS in management administration from the Kelly School of Business in 1981, which was a great year for a number of reasons. <laughs> Building on Motley's Pub, Micro Solutions, Broadcast.com, the Dallas Mavericks, Axis TV, and Shark Tank, to name just a few of his endeavors, Mark's name is synonymous with innovation, technology, media, and sports. I cannot imagine a person better suited to be the namesake for and the godfather of our Center for Sports Media and Technology. Ladies and gentlemen, the man of the hour, Mark Cuban. Thank you, President McRobbie, Fred, Will, great job. Um, we don't need a broadcaster right now, but show me your resume. Um, first off, let me say, whatever I give to IU, it'll only be a fraction of what Indiana University gave to me. Um, there aren't enough words, enough thank yous for all I learned here about life, about myself, and to, in, in my education. So thank you to everybody who's ever stepped foot on this campus because you've been special to me. Um, you know, one of, the, uh, one of the reasons, Fred and Anthony Thompson, who's a buddy of mine, like to come and visit, and, you know, I'm sharp every now and then. I figure out why they come to visit. Um, and so, <laughs> every, you know, every time they're, they're coming, I'm like, what can I do that's different? What can I do? What can I do? I've always, you know, people always say, why don't you build this? Why don't you put your name on that? Why don't you build a building? And I've always thought, you know, buildings are when you're dying and you want people to remember you. I, you know, I think I got a long way to go, um, <laughs> despite having graduated in 2001, not 1981. Um, <laughs> but when I sat down this last time with them, I was also going through some um, scenarios with the Mavericks where I was trying to figure out ways to give the Mavericks a competitive advantage. What could we do in terms of analytics to make us smarter in how we recruited players and put together a team? What could we do in terms of coaching that gave us better tools and player development that gave us better tools to give us a competitive advantage? What could we do in terms of presentation to our fans so that when you come to a Dallas Mavericks game, you felt like you were getting a full level of entertainment that you couldn't get anywhere else? What could we do in terms of television and presentation um, online to allow us to present the Dallas Mavericks in ways that nobody else does. I mean, I'm a geek at heart, and I like to try to do things that other people haven't thought of or hadn't put together yet. And so we were going through that process with 3D, with virtual reality, with other analytics, you name it, you know, medical technology. And so when Fred and Anthony came to visit, you know, I, I kind of was smart and said, well, I shouldn't just do this for the Mavs. Let's sit down and think of a program where we can take all these things that I think are amazing for a professional team and try to use it to give IU a competitive advantage as well. And so with that, we put together the center, even though I hate that my name's on it. Um, they kind of insisted. But, you know, because I think in doing this, people are going to come to IU. They're going to go to Assembly Hall. They're going to see what we're doing in terms of presentations on television, presentations to recruits and athletes, using it for analytics to get a competitive advantage. So the coaches are going to be able to say, look, here's what we know that other teams don't know. When we pull all those things together, I think selfishly it'll be great for IU. But even more selfishly, I think it's going to create a stream of graduates that are going to have a skill set that isn't seen anywhere else. The world's changing. My dad likes to say you don't, live in the you don't live in the world you were born into. And actually, it's even gotten faster. You don't live in the world that you graduated into. You know, by the time you start as a freshman, then get to your senior year, the technology is all different. By the time you graduate, you know, and you're a free agent, going to your first job, then your second job, all the things have changed. And you need a foundation that's built on technology for most jobs these days. And so hopefully with the center and these new technologies, this will just be a start but I think it'll be an amazing start. We're, we're integrating you know, virtual reality, artificial reality, things that um, aren't even commercially available yet, but as kids learn today, when they do become commercially available for everybody else, they'll be way ahead of the curve. 
I'll be hiring them. There'll be other big companies, small companies, entrepreneurs that'll be hiring them. They'll be hiring themselves and starting their own businesses. So I, I'm here with great pride. I'm here with great fondness for IU. I'm here with great thanks for everybody who's come out tonight. And I can't wait to see what we're able to do. Thank you.